Hi guys, what's happening? Okay, so thanks for joining me in this video. It is a my favorites for April. I haven't done a favorites video in a couple months, so I figured it's time to do one. I just did get ready with me for this look. I know, basic, I'm a basic bitch, I'm plain. But these are my everyday looks. I'm not gonna show you something that I don't wear every day. I'm not gonna put up something just because it's extravagant. I'm going to obviously come on here with my nails that are like all gross. I've not done a manicure in a couple weeks. I'm like one of those people that will wear their nail polish until it like literally like peels off because I'm just too lazy to take it off or anything. That's just me. I'm a so, I don't know, I'm a lazy girl. Anyway, these are my fish. I mentioned them in my last video. I decided to start filming in my living room because there's so much natural light and noise. There's so much natural light here that where I, where I get ready in, in the other room, there isn't. There's only one small, there's only one window, but in here there's a window, big window over on this side and there's window right here. It's just so much more light and I just find that it's a lot better, I think. So I'm gonna do that and um, yeah, so Mecca and Becca are back there. My cat's sleeping on the couch and my dog's outside getting some fresh air. That is my life. Um, I'm gonna do some favorites for April. Yes. Now I'll start with one favorite and that is lemonade. This lemonade is not from Starbucks. This is my Starbucks mug that I have at home, but I've been loving lemonade lately. Let me correct this. The drink, not the album, the drink. I honestly don't get the album, the lemonade album. I don't understand it. I am not a Beyonce fan. Like, I like some of her songs, but that's just not me. So I'm going to correct myself and say the drink is what I like, not the album. Okay? Okay, good. So let's get started into these favorites. And um, let's start off. You know what? I'm just going to start off by this one because it's just hanging out here. I've been loving, I got these a couple years ago. Um, these are my Michael Kors sunglasses and they're the Michael Kors, Kors Beverly um, sunglasses and I wear these in a lot of my Instagram posts and stuff but I love how they are square but they're not like a little bit rounded but how they're oversized but yet they aren't too oversized and they're perfect. I just love these things. I wear them like all the time. These ones are my Celine new Aubrey ones, but I love these ones because they feel like nothing on my face. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. Love them, love the color, love everything about them. Perfect. They're just perfect. So definitely love these. They are the Michael Kors um, Beverly sunglasses. Maybe I love them because my mom's name is Beverly. I don't know. A shout out to my mom on Mother's Day weekend. Yay, hi mom. Love you. All right, so another favorite, she's obviously a favorite, a big favorite of mine, but Jamaica favorites. All right, maybe I'll start with skincare. Maybe, should I? I don't know, I have a whole basket of stuff here, like a lot of random, so random stuff here. Okay, so skincare. I have been loving the Origins Checks and Balances. I've been using this like no tomorrow, like. Okay, so this one here is frothy, but so I would not advise you using this with like a clear sonic or anything because it foams up as you put more water and as you agitate it, it will foam up to make more froth. So I have just been using this by putting like getting my face wet, putting some on my hand and then just really like going at it with my face and then just wiping it and that is it. And I love this stuff so, so, so much. It's really helped me with just dry skin and breakouts and stuff like that. My skin is pretty well, pretty much good. I like where it is right now. I do have some patches of dryness and that, but that's just normal for me. Um, I do think though, because I have this tooth problem, I think that that's why I get a lot of dry patches here. Because I have like a tooth problem here and I think it kind of, I don't know, I'm weird. I make up theories because I'm like, it's got to be, it's got to make sense. Um, so yeah, so Origins Checks and Balances, but this is one of those iconic ones. I'd have to say if I were to pick, there isn't a time where I don't have one of these three cleansers in my house. The Origins Checks and Balances, First Aid Beauty's one, the first fab one, First Aid Beauty um, cleanser, and the Murad Acne 
cleanser, the um, acne solutions cleanser. I have at least one of those three, if not all three at the same time, because those are my three favorite go-to cleansers. Then no matter what, I know that my skin is going to be good if I continue to use it. So I kind of switch off, but those are my base. That's my base of cleanser that I know that I'm going to use. So love this stuff. And I literally almost used this whole thing up in one month because that's how much I love it. Okay, for some more skincare stuff. I have been getting into cleanse off oils for some reason. So, um, the L'Occitane Cleansing Oil 5% Shea. This is just a little sample that I got in a Sephora 500 point perk. And I like this one. Um, it doesn't smell that much. I would love it if it smelled like the almond stuff, but it doesn't. But that's just like my own little pet peeve about it but um yeah so I'll use I'll leave this one in the shower so when I'm going to take a shower at night I'll just and then it'll just take all my makeup off and I love how these break everything down without irritation so that's one of my favorites another favorite of mine is the Basha Bosha Basha whatever that word is the um, makeup breakup cooling cleansing oil this one here I bought it's like quite expensive this was $16 for such a little thing it's only 50 mil but this one is thicker than this one so when I really have a lot of makeup on I will go for this one when I have like a thicker mascara on or have done a little bit more I'll go for this one because then I know I can really um, break it up but yeah so I like this the Lancome one here I don't really like I don't know what it is about this one I'm just, I'm not impressed with this cleansing oil at all. I'll have to give it a couple more tries, but this one is not one of my favorites. I brought it out here just so you can see, like, the different ones that I've been trying, and this one's not a favorite. Um, if I had to say it, I'd have to say that it's the L'Occitane that's my favorite. Um, this one I didn't like at the beginning, but I love now. So if I were to repurchase, it would be one of these two, I think. Some other body stuff would have to be, I've been like trying, because I got this L'Occitane set to like adjust my leg. Sorry. Sitting on hardwood, so it's like really crappy on my leg. It sucks. Um, okay, so I got the L'Occitane, that 500 point perk set a little while ago. And um, I've just been trying everything in it. So yes, a favorite of mine is the shower oil. Um, I think I'm going to purchase the full size of this because I really like it and I mostly use this one I don't use it a lot like this is lasting me a while but I like to use it when I shave my legs and stuff to um, kind of just get a little bit more like of that softness so I kind of pick and choose when I want to use this but I do really like it so that is a favorite and then this um, supple skin oil I really like I do have a lot left but I like to use this one on my hands sometimes at night when they're really, really dry or even just on my legs after I shave them. So I think I might purchase the full size, but it is a little bit pricey. It's like $50 for a full size, which is crazy. Um, and that. Another favorite for the skin is this um, Burt's Bees Hand Salve. And all it is is just a salve like a um, kind of like a petroleum jelly it smells medically like eucalyptus -y, but it's for your hands kind of like an oil and you don't want to put a lot on but it helps with dry skin and stuff so I really 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 love this stuff I don't use it every night but I do like it when I have like really dry um, cuticles and that so I love this a lip favorite a lip Lip skincare favorite, I think, would have to be this um, Aruba Aloe Lip Sunscreen and Moisturizer. And this is just a chapstick, and it's from Aruba Aloe. Um, they are, it's made in Aruba. They're from Aruba. I vacationed there, like, a long time ago um, with my mom, and we went for the tour in the factory and stuff like that. And um, I ended up buying this, and now I'm hooked on it. Every time somebody goes down that I know, I'm like, get me 10 of them. I need 10 of them. Um, and that, because I have these everywhere. I have them in my car. I have them in my bathroom. I have them by my nightstand. I have them everywhere. Because these are my favorite, favorite um, chapsticks, lips, moisturizer things. I just know that um, 
if I reach for this, it's just like there's no there's no real scent or flavor. And it's a thicker, like it's not thin like chapstick. It's a very thick um, formula. So you're actually feeling it on there. And you're actually like, okay, it's thick. Like it's not like a a thin, okay, it's just water. It's going, it's going to go off. No, you're going to feel it on there for a while, which I like. Um, a couple more skin items would have to be, I have, I'm trying to use samples that I have so I can kind of use some products and see if I like things or not. So is this uh, Benefit Puff Off? I've really enjoyed that, and this one here is just a sample, but this cream, it's got hair in it, um, it's more of a peachy color there, so it's kind of like, um, it goes on clear, but it's like a peachy color, so do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like giving you a little bit more color if you put it on during the day, so that's pretty nice. Um, the Seaberry moisturizing face oil this was like a hundred point perk or a free sample or something from Sephora and I really love this oil I'll um, cleanse my skin and then what I'll do is I'll take this dropper and put put like a whole dropper on my hand and mix it up and just pat it in and then just really like moisturize my face with it and I only use one dropper and this stuff is awesome it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel doesn't smell too much really enjoyed this one here and still enjoying it for fragrance, I have been loving this Golden Pineapple Luau Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. It's like pineapples everywhere, just raining pineapples when you use this. What I'll do sometimes is I will even put like my Mod Noir on and then I will spray this on too. So it kind of layers that. It gives you that sophisticated scent but with that fruity spring summer scent. So I'll use this to layer a lot of my perfumes that I'm like okay I want to kind of feel like this but yet I want to kind of have that fruitiness of the season so I'll do this or I'll spray this in my hair a lot like not like like hairspray but I'll go at the top of my head and I'll just put a little bit more so my hair kind of gets that that scent in it but yet it's not like spraying it on my head right so I definitely like love this and these sprays are so great like you can use them as room sprays as anything like I've used these things I use them as room sprays I use them as tons of stuff but this one in particular the pineapple one just makes me kind of go wow it's actually summer it's spring you know what this makes me feel good all right let's get into some other makeup there's tons of stuff here and I'm sitting on like hardwood floors and it's making my feet go, what? Okay, what are we going to do next? I recently went to a Sensi, Sensity, Sensi party a friend of mine was having. And I want to get one of those infusers, but I'm not sure which one I want to get. So I ended up getting one of their um, oils. And I got the rest one because I like tons of, if you know me, like, in my personal life, you know that I have trouble sleeping. Like, I might lie around a lot, but when it comes to sleep and relaxation, I just can't because my body just doesn't stop. And you know what? Maybe I'll get into that in more videos about, like, more personal and my struggle with some of the illnesses that I have and things that I, I've gone through and stuff like that because I think that um, that might help some people that go through it. I have a... Um, illness called syringomyelia, so it's a um, sack of fluid in my spine, which I got from a car accident, and I also have a, um, I have ITP, which is an autoimmune, it's a blood disorder, and that, so there's a lot of things that I cope with, with a lot of, like, chronic pain in that, that um, I've kind of conformed my life to, or kind of made my life accommodate my illnesses, which I've been very fortunate to do, um, and that so there are little things that I try now to do that are natural in order to sleep in order to relax because my body just can't shut off at night it just doesn't stop because it's in so much pain so I've been trying to find other things other than um, like I still take pain painkillers and stuff like I still do take other things like medication but I wanted to try and find something a little bit more um, therapeutic to help me so I picked up this one here and it's an essential oil brand it's a blend well I can't talk and it's lavender orange and or an orange flower mandarin fruit 
Allium, oh wait, that's the, is that the French? I don't even know, does this have French on it? No. Allium, Allium gum, mandarin fruit, fruit, orange blossom, and lavender. It's called Rest. That is the um, name of the actual like blend. And it comes in a dropper and you're supposed to put it in an um, oil infuser. Sometimes I'll put it in my burner with a little bit of water instead or in a pot with water. Sometimes I'll smell it right out of the bottle and sometimes I'll even just kind of, and I don't even know if you're supposed to do this, so do not do this unless you look it up. But I will put it on the, my palms or like on my wrists just so I can kind of like when I'm sleeping I can like get that scent in now I'm not sure if that is safe for that this is just kind of what I've done and I don't have a problem with it um but I would always always find out and read the label and everything before you do that put it on you or anything but um I've really been enjoying this scent it's just really relaxing and I think it's the lavender and all that citrus that just kind of makes you go okay relax and even if it doesn't obviously it's not going to make me sleep like something else like a sleeping pill but it kind of just brings your mind and relaxes you and I think that that's kind of really important in life sometimes and um, I've been really enjoying it I think I might try a couple other scents from them or and that because I have a couple other ones that I might want to try but um, yeah, this one's, they're made for their in diffusers, where they diffuse the scent up in the air through the water, right? And that, but I've just kind of wanted to see what I thought of the scents, because sometimes they give me headaches, and I didn't want to commit to a diffuser of $150 before I knew if I liked all the scent, right? So that's been one of my favorite things this month. For lip products... Um, there's three of them. So one of them is this Bite Beauty um, Agave Lip Treatment. And it's just this color here. This is the champagne. And it's basically like nothing. And I love this for just putting it on my lips and nothing else. And it's just such a perfect like base that gives you that little bit of a shiny fleck. It keeps your skin moisturized, but yet doesn't let you have like a bold lip color. Does that make sense? As well as this one here is kind of, okay, they are kind of comparable and they're the same, almost the same price. But this one I think has a little bit more color. The Bite one obviously has more color. But how much is in this one? This one here is 15 grams. This one here is, oh, they're the same weight, or they're the same amount. So this is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip, and they're like the same price. This is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip, and I thought I lost this one. I was literally going bananas, um, asking people, where is it, where is it? And this one here is like literally like, it's nothing, but it's something. I don't even think you can see it on the camera there. But it is such an amazing lip product. Um, this one was, I bought this and I bought, I bought that set and it was $60 for the scrub and for this, but this lasts a long time and it's just so, I can put it on top of this and give it like dimension. It just gives you like such a nice sheen, like such a nice, I, I wouldn't even put it like, you're, it's not sparkling or anything. Like it's not a sparkle, it's just a like... It just gives you more and when like add something to it when you put it on with nothing else it looks like you have something on but really it's like you just have this on it's the perfect no makeup makeup like it's no makeup makeup but gives you that little bit of sparkle and I think that when you wear it it kind of makes your eyes come out a bit more and stuff like that so this is like one of my favorite things I've ever owned by way of skincare makeup um, I will always probably repurchase this even though the price tag is up there. When I lost it, I was literally, I was texting friends of mine going, did you see this? Do you know where this is? Where was it lost? Oh my God. And then I found it in the most ridiculous place, like in a laundry basket, in a bag that I used to go swimming. I don't even know. I don't know how things get there. I found my cat collar in our laundry after the laundry. Like, I'm like, how does the cat leave the collar in the laundry? I don't get it. Things just end up places, I think. 
So this stuff is amazing. I highly recommend it. If you're ever like on the fence about should I get the lip slip, don't even question it, girl. Just add it to your cart. I'm telling you, you will not regret that. Another lip product that I've been loving. This video is going to be forever. Sorry, guys. But I like to talk. Um, okay, so another lip product that I've been loving are these Juicy Shakers. These things are so fun. So it looks like a little, as my friend says, a martini shaker. And you shake it up, and then it's just like this. And it's kind of like, I'll just do it on my hand. You just blot it on. And it's so perfect. It just gives you that tint of color. It is so nice. You can build it up. Oh, I love it. This one's my favorite. I think that um, I did get the watermelon or the melon one. And you know what I found with the melon one was that it was a lot like the fresh rose color. So I took it back because I have like three of those little samples of the fresh rose. And I'm like, I'm now about trying to wean out things that are just too much or just really enjoy the things that I have. So I'm like, I don't want to have something that is almost similar and have a price tag of just spending $30 on it because these are like $28 whereas if I have something almost like it I'm gonna I want to use that then because I already have something that's gonna be like that right so um but definitely love this one this one is the freedom peach it's definitely a great color for the season oh I love these things um I got this one at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada and I think you can get them at Sephora online in Canada but I'm not sure they're in the stores yet but check it out they're so good so very good the Lumi true match Lumi cushion okay who's I mean really this thing came out and it was big and now it's big again and I think that it's big because it's summer and this is just so sheer now I don't know if this has SPF 50 or if this sorry I don't even know why I go right to 15 I don't know if this has SPF in it. Um, so what it is, is it's a cushion foundation. So it comes with a puff. I threw that out because I don't use it. So then you just open it and here's the foundation. Now, just so you guys know, if you do use this and yours ran out quick, take the sponge and flip it over. Um, and then that should give you more product. So a lot of people complain that they don't have a lot of product. But if you flip the sponge over, you'll get more product. My question is, is... Is this like the True Match Lumi foundation just in cushion form? Because if it is, then this is a big waste of money because you get more foundation with that one. But this was a hefty, this was $20 too. So it's a pretty big price tag. Drugstore makeup's getting to be really ridiculous now. But I mean, they're coming out with really good stuff. So I guess that's worth it. But still, um, this was big and now it's big again. A friend of mine, when I was shopping, when I was getting the shaker, she's like, you have to try this. And I'm like, okay. It's like the Lancome ones, too. And Lancome, I think, and L'Oreal are, like, the same company, maybe? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So, it's a cushion foundation. Um, this is in N2 Classic Ivory. I don't know if you can see it there. Probably not. Um, so, this is what I'm wearing today. Underneath, like, um, obviously, obviously what I'm wearing today. Um, and that, but I like it. I use it with the angled kabuki, which is one of my favorite brushes. So I'll just like lead with that. So I have an angled, this is also a favorite this month, and it's the F84 angled kabuki. Definitely love this brush. Um, it's perfect for this. Now, a lot of people use the beauty blender, which is going to give you a little bit more sheer coverage. Um, you can build it up. I like using it with this F84. It just kind of like for me gets it in more places and I can see it more I don't need a ton of coverage but it does help even my skin tone out so I do like it and it feels like there's nothing on it I would like to know however if it does have any um, skincare properties in it because then that would make me love it more because I find that in the summertime I lean towards my it cosmetic CC and my um, Clinique acne solutions because they do have that SPF 50 and SPF 40. And that's really important in the summer for me is to have that extra SPF. So it'd be interesting to find out if this does have that. Um, if any of you guys know, can you leave it in the comments below? But yeah, I like this. I I think it's one of my favorites now. But I think it's a very sheer coverage foundation. You can build it. But I find that it's better for sheer cover, like for just a 
more of a sheer like to cover up not to cover up big spots but just to kind of like um I don't know what word I'm looking for but you guys get it right I hope so and the uh, angled kabuki f84 as you guys know this is my favorite because it's just the way it is it's domed at the top but yet it's angled and it's it's just perfect for foundation it gets like right underneath your eyes it gets all around and that and that's why I love this one and they're so soft okay moving on the Too Faced primed and poreless this stuff is insanely awesome I've been using this non-stop I have it in my purse for when I go out and stuff and just need touch-ups I just use this little dabber this is from my Bessame one but I just had it on it keeps everything at bay and I just love this formula so 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 much this is so amazing definitely definitely love this product um, it's really no color so that's what it looks like but there's no color to it obviously it's just plain and that but it's super finely milled for blush is my physician's formula natural Argon Wear Ultra Nourishing Argon Oil Blush. I love this stuff. This one I've had for a while. I don't like the smell. I'm not going to lie. It's on this finger. But I do love the product. It is such a subtle blush. I'm wearing it today. And it's like literally I just like draw it on my face. Like I could just take my brush and just be like I don't even know what I'm doing. But it's just there. So, definitely love this. This is a favorite. This has been a favorite of mine for a long time. And this is my original one. And when you buy it, there is overspray on it, but that goes away. So, a little FYI on that. A couple of brushes, try and speed this thing along, is this e.l.f. blush brush. And I use this with my um, highlight, just because it's the perfect size for that. Right? Just to get right here. And it's so soft and it's flat. And I like how it's flat because then I can just like rest it on my cheekbones. But then on the other spectrum, I use this um, little Burberry Kabuki that I got. And it's really soft. And sometimes I'll just, when I want to pack on the highlight, I'll just put this on with it. Because it'll obviously pick up more product. And then I can just like really pack it on. But that's very rare because I'm not a big highlight bam person. One of the other brushes is the Soft Angled Contour F23 from Sigma. This one is rather newer um, and that, but it is almost like the Chanel brush, bronzer brush there, whereas it almost looks identical. I think the bronze, the Chanel one is a little bit taller, but it is angled and smaller and flatter. So then you can go right onto your um, cheekbones there, take your product, and then like fan it out, right? And then just get it all around the perimeter. So, love this brush so, so much. Glad I bought it. The other brush that I really love, and I'll coincide it with the other thing that I love, is this Precision Angle P84. And this is the same one as that um, Sigma brush. So, this is a little baby of that Sigma foundation brush. And it's domed and it's angled. So, the reason why I love this one is because for this product here, for any contouring product, is it's the perfect size to just put it right here, bring it down, and then fan it out. And it just gives you that perfect structure for your contour. So that's what I use it for, is for that contour, that structure contour, like right here, on the other side and up here, just to give my face a little bit of shadow and on my nose. And it's the perfect, perfect brush for that is this one here, because it is domed and curved so it's kind of like giving you it's not pressing the powder in or anything I don't know it's just the perfect brush um, the another product that I've been loving is the brow satin by Maybelline and the reason why I've been loving this one is because one side has powder on it to fill in and the other side is just the um, actual pencil and I am horrible horrible with my brows I am the worst brow person ever like I will admit it I don't do good brows and um, this thing here is just flawless because you could just brush it in 
fill it in, boom, boom, put on your stuff, your uh, brow gel, and go. So this one is a drugstore, and it's pretty awesome. This one's in taupe, like a blonde. And I found that this stick is a lot like the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil, brow pencil. Not the brow whiz, but the brow pencil. The colors are so similar. So the blonde pencil and this one are like almost identical in color. So that's pretty awesome. The Makeup Forever Contour Kit. I could not live without this thing anymore. It is like so amazingly awesome. You get four colors. You get the color, the highlight with the um, sparkly things in it. What is it? Shimmer. You get a contour and you get a highlight with nothing in it. So this one here can go underneath your... Um, eyes then you got the shimmer I'm just gonna swatch them here for you so here they all are swatched you see so the shimmer highlight one you can barely see and then that's the one without any like highlight shimmer in it there's the uh, contour and there's the color what I did today was I used and the video for my get ready with me should be up was I used the no color um, highlight I put that on as a highlight and then I put the Laura Mercier highlight one on it so that that highlight will just stick to that tackiness of this cream product so then it kind of like it kind of gives you a little bit more amped up sometimes I'll even use this um, highlight color here the shimmer one and then do just more highlight so that it sticks to the tackiness but it adds a little bit more shimmer but this is the perfect, perfect, perfect taupey contour for somebody my skin tone. It's just, I love it. I just literally put it down the hollows, put it here, put it here, and it adds the perfect amount of contour to my face. I mean, I couldn't live without this. I love it. It is worth every penny. Amazing product, and I am not one to contour like crazy. I recently purchased the Bobbi Brown Heather Eyeshadow. And this one here is just a kind of eggplanty taupey gray. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's up here. And I just really like it because it is just something that you could literally put in the crease and go. It adds a little bit of color, it adds some definition, but it is so simple. Um, also, you can kind of get a little bit wet and then put it down um, as a eyeliner if you wanted to and smoke it out. Definitely could do a lot of things with this. The Bobbi Brown eyeshadows are amazing. I would definitely check them out. Heather is amazing, this one. A lot of people use the black and the brown for um, eyeliner, but it's a great product. And last but not least, we are almost done. This one here is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronze Universal. I've been wanting this for years, so I finally bit the bullet. And this is just a moussey tanning gel for your face. And it's not even like a gel, but it is a gel. So this is what it looks like. You do not get a lot in here. But you don't need a lot. So basically what this is, is a... It's like a cream tan product. And that, it's right there. Um, and I just use this with either this brush here. Or this is like identical to the Marc Jacobs brush but not the Market Jacobs brush. And this is like one of those super big fluffy ones. So I'll just circle my brush in it and then just kind of like deepen up my skin around. So it kind of adds a little bit of, you know what I mean. So anyway, so yes, I use this one with it, but this is amazing. I love it. I didn't think I'd love it this much, but I use this like all the time and it's definitely worth it. And you'll have it for a long time. I mean, even though you don't get a lot of product, like you don't get a lot of product. But you'll probably have it for a long time. And that, and always keep the lid on it so it doesn't dry out. Because it's not, I had that boudoir, boudoir one from um, the drugstore that they said it was a dupe for this one. But that one was like super, super creamy, like, ugh, and it was like orange. And I hated it. So I finally bit the bullet and got this one. And I love it. Anyway, sorry that that took so long. Kind of went off on a couple tangents. But those are my favorites for April. I know there was a lot, but not a lot. But hey. Um, 
yeah so i hope you guys like this video and um give this video a thumbs up if you like favorite videos let me know in the comments below how you like any of these products if they were hit and misses for you i'd love to know don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss any more of my videos and i'll see you in my next one love you guys bye